Today we are reviewing the Microsoft Comfort 3000 Blue Track mouse. It is supposed to be the upgrade from the Microsoft Comfort 3000. Along with the release of this, they have released the Microsoft Comfort 6000 Blue Track, which has a body similar to the 3.0. This mouse has a very egg like shape and would be very difficult to hold on to if it weren't for the small grooves on the left and right side of the mouse. This mouse is very lightweight, weighing in just under 63 grams. It is lighter than the Abyssus, even though it is a little bit bigger in size. Like most Microsoft mice, this mouse has no prediction. Also, even though it's not listed on the box, the DPI is around 1000, with its max perfect control speed hitting about 1 meter a second. After that, you get a rather large negative acceleration curve. I find it odd that the max tracking rate is so low, because the Microsoft Sidewinder had such a high max tracking rate. I found that the mouse performs similar on all mouse pads that I have. The mouse wheel is smooth and sometimes it can be hard to get it to stop in the right place. The absolute worst part about this mouse is that both the left click and right click are connected at the front and back. That means if you click too hard, you'll accidentally right click along with left click. Or you'll accidentally left click when you right click. Which means not only gaming is difficult, but just navigating around web pages can be difficult. As always, I will include a full list of specs, and I will be giving away a Microsoft Comfort 3000 Blue Track at 200 subscribers, so please subscribe.